good luck for everybody that might pull soul stones today. It's the best chance to to get do it big. I mean, getting a champion from one star to four star pales in comparison to getting it from five to six, six star. That's really what you get want to get, or not even five star, but the six star because the C C 300 tier two tokens to go from five to six is a massive deal. I mean, right now I want to get this UDK soul, but I can buy it. Takes you six to eight months to do it, and getting the tier one tokens isn't the issue. So if you get the right champions and make it big today, it will be good. It's kind of annoying that you can't you can't have on your wish list champions that you do not own. <laughs> I would put Marius in the wish list if I could, but can't do it. I don't really think that the Tormin on the wish list is that big deal. And I'm gonna get the UDK with the tier 2 tokens anyway, so I don't think I'm gonna put it here. I don't, I don't think I have any other champions that I really should put on the wish list. Anyway, let's see what we get today. Good luck for everybody. By the way, I already have... I already got fi uh, five star Gala. No, two star Gala though. I already have five star Gala, so I don't really care about that, but... I probably could put some other champions in the epic wishlist, to be honest. If I were smart about it, um, I should get something else for the Curse City. Until Curse City, it really didn't matter, but at this time... Actually, I'll just remove them out of the wishlist. I don't even need any epics on the wishlist. Rather have randoms than get extra, <laughs> extra galas that I don't need. I don't think you can see the chat on the video, but this is like after the Platinum Arena reset and I'm still streaming, so I'm kind of speaking with the stream chat in case somebody's confused. And in case the people on the stream are confused, I'm making a video about this, so I'm narrating to both of them. I have pretty high level souls for both Shamal and Nia, I think, so I don't think there's really any really specific epics that I... Damn, that's a lot. We're getting a lot and it's not even one star souls, but it's not five or six star either, but um, there's definitely some epics that I probably should have on my V's list for Curse City. I can't think of them right now, but Nia and uh, what was the other one? Those two I already got. Chamile, yeah. Pretty much on Nougars, I want to get at least 4-star soul. And any any support, I need to get 6-star. What is my most wanted soul? Well, since I'm buying UDK with the split souls, it definitely would be Ankara. If I could get 6 star polymorph on Ankara, I pretty much wouldn't use my Datsus at all. Somebody was just asking yesterday that I used Ankara way more than Datsus in my last library in a video, but why was I even using Datsus at all? And usually when I pick Datsus, I just pick her for the polymorph because Polymorph is a massive deal and win condition against some of those speed teams with a lot of debuff champions like Grixia or Mikage and Armans and so on. Galater. Uh, I think we hit the capacity. I'm gonna save the highest level souls just in case. I mean, obviously I should like... At this point you should awaken everything for Curse City, no matter if it's like a rare or epic. You might able to be able to unlock some of those red stars um red star secret rooms or whatever they're called that you might not otherwise be able to do. And then there's those annoying rooms where you really need to 
Why do I have this champion at 6 star? I have no idea why I have gotten this. Maybe he has some use. I don't even recall why I leveled up that rare. I use Tormin. Um, I don't. I kind of hate him every time that they use him. I have him at 2 star blessing though. And he's gonna get 650 defense if you get him 4 star. And then 38 crit damage at 6 star. Uh, 4 star. And then cruelty effect which decreases the enemy defense by 4% at 6 star. It works with multi hits and AoE hits. That will be super good on Tormin. So I'm not using him a lot, but if I had 6 star blessing, I, or 4 star, I would use him way more. So that's why I have him on the wish list. And I kind of hope that I could get a 4 star at least. But I would rather put Marius in my wish list, but you can put champions that you don't own, and even if I'm gonna get it in a few weeks, but not yet. There's gonna be so many shards that are solos that we're gonna have to sell maybe one or more, one or two more times. But yeah, not high expectations for these shard pulls. If I will get 6 star Angkor, then that would be best RNG that I could get. I didn't go for the 5 star originally on the event, because that was just before we got the guaranteed Narsus, and I didn't have the resources to do it in the first place. I would have had to like buy some energy to do the event, but if I knew what I know now, then I probably would have bought <laughs> bought an energy pack to get the 5 star Angora, to be honest. But it's not that big deal. I I'm mostly I mean I'm just farming the tokens and I'm gonna buy it that way. I'm not really expecting to get anything useful. The only 6 star champion that I have gotten from legendaries is um what's her name? I always forget her name. It's the it's the one that looks like murdering. <laughs> I remember her as a murdering, but I don't recall what's her actual name. Minaya. Yeah. She's the only one that I got six star soul on. I got it like maybe a couple months after the release of the souls. And I instantly <laughs> instantly sold it for 10 tier 2 tokens. That was way before the curse city. But that's literally the only one that I have gotten on legendaries. Um, so regarding Hall's Ring, I kind of talked about it on my Dark Fae video, and I made a separate video about Hall's Ring buff as well. Oh, damn, 4 star, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna use it. Not sure if it's that big deal, and I don't use Arbiter a lot, but I'll definitely take a 4 star soul. But Hall's Ring actually did get a pretty good buff, it's not live in the game yet. I don't think that's enough to make him relevant in PvP or anything like that, but he's gonna be a pretty good nuker in Dark Fae. Like, he does have decreased speed on A1, he does have good multipliers and ignore defense on his other skills, and then he also does some, um, like, turn meter decrease on A1 and decrease speed on is it A3, so that's pretty good for Dark Fae. But if you just have a triple Gnoot and Baron, that's the best way to speed farm it. N nothing is gonna beat the Gnoot damage. Oh, 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 that's... Nah. <laughs> Dude, I was like, are we gonna get 6 star Narsus? That would have been nice. Okay, but goddamn, that's 5 star blessing on Galatir. All, all I need to do now is get Galatir, but 5 star is pretty good. It's not the same as 6 star, but... Considering that you build some accuracy on him, 
you can get away with 5 star and it's certainly way better than 1 star soul. Oh, I guess we're pretty much running out of them at this point. Oh yeah, I can still buy more. Or what about that? Yeah, I mean, 5 star Galadir is pretty good. O only thing I need to do now is to get the actual champion, but it's better than not having it. Dude, I would be so happy. I mean, it's kind of dumb to get happy about, like, too happy about games or too emotional. I would be so happy if Galatir was the first Prima champion that I get. <laughs> that, that would make all the pain and suffering and complaining about champions from the past. I think it would pretty much make most of it go away. So that's how that's how OP Galatir is. I, I hate the fact that we have to even worry about the management of the lots here. And I have like 5 million silver, so it's not like I really want to buy more. Oh wait, th that's a 6 star, so pretty sure that's the first one we got, Zelota. Um... I mean, I guess I'm gonna use him on Curse City. He might enable some red floors. What do you even call them? Are they secret rooms or what are they even called? Awaken stage. Why can't they just call them the Cursed City secret rooms? Ah, one star Gizmog. I take it Gizmog is pretty good champion. We have been talking about him a lot lately, but a lot of people are... Eh, one star, come on. A lot of people are kind of sleeping on Gizmog. He's really good. The only thing is that Polymorph totally screws with him, but if he doesn't get Polymorph, he is pretty much a win condition by himself. If, if you have a high level blessing, like if you have the six star, burn blessing on him, it's super OP and you will pretty much kill the enemy team before they get any turns because you're gonna do a lot of damage through stone skin and you're also gonna reduce their turn meter with the blessing. Damn, we actually did get 6 star soul but getting slightly teased that we actually did get Angora and Narsus, like, a couple times. God damn, if it was on them, that, that would have been a huge deal. So annoying that you you have to like go through all of these and try to find the duplicate once and they're making you waste your time on this management. Come on, let's see 6 star Angora. Might, might as well. Just give it to me this time. By the way, does the, the event doesn't apply to the Eternal Soulstone, yeah. It works on Immortal and Mortal, so basically all, all that I have because 
you don't get a lot of eternal soul stones unless you I don't know buy them or win tournaments or something like that but you don't really get them from the normal gameplay a lot very very rarely I I'm sure I haven't even like pulled 10 of them maybe like five <laughs> I also don't want to sell everything just because I need to save some of the ones that I can sell for the Marius missions. Okay, we're finally done with the mortal soul stones. There was so much of them that it actually was a big job to do it. So, um, pretty high chance to get 5 or 6 star soul here, like 40% or almost. Surely we're gonna definitely get, get one legendary with 6 star, come on. That will be my second one ever. Come on, give me Angora. Didn't we? I think we already got five star marksman ones today. Okay, didn't even get legendaries on those, but I. I I'll take a gold heart for sure. Not big deal, not like not like I need it, but I'll take a five star gold heart. I mean we, we did get many five and six star souls, but nothing that is like a massive deal, so I hope you guys get better luck, but I can't really complain because I definitely made a lot of progression here. E even if it wasn't like a insanely lucky 6-star Angora pull. <laughs> 